the real rivalry that everyone's interested in. We've got a World Cup coming up. Going to New Zealand, you're involved in that. You know, um, who do you think South Africa needs to look out for? I mean, everybody that I've spoken to is talking Australia and their young backline. Yeah, definitely Australia. I think uh, that's one of the teams that could have that uh, surprise package yeah. because they've got so many youngsters mm -hmm. and, uh, and guys like O'Connor, Bill, Quaid, Cooper, yeah. you know, some great players. And they've, they've had a quite a good season last year and they've got some good continuity there. So, you know, there's one team to really look, uh, look out for. Well, they're also the kind of side that, that have been mixing it, you know, forwards and backs. But then you mentioned something that, that struck a chord with me. What kind of style of rugby is going to win a World Cup, you know? Because 2007, let's be yeah. honest, was up to defence and you knocking over <laughs> goals, you know what I mean? Can we do that in New Zealand? You know, nothing changes. I think, you know, you've got to look at uh, the weather, you know, mm -hmm. the conditions we're going to play in. It's going to be all-night games, so it's going to be wet games mm -hmm. most of the time. So the kind of rugby you're going to play in Super 15, you're not going to see, I don't think. It's, uh, I, I always believed, you know, you, it's, uh, to win a World Cup, you've got to sort of be boring in a way. Yeah. You play that kind of rugby. Winning rugby. It's a winning rugby, yeah. definitely. You kick your penalties and you get, you kick your long touch kicks, get your forwards there to to, to lay the foundation. So it's, it's definitely going to play a huge part. It's a mix of that and then you said we need a bit of an X factor. Yeah, definitely. I think you need your game breakers, you know, the element of surprise. I think that's going to play a huge part. You know, you, uh, I'll give an example for South Africa. We can't go with the same the same codes uh, as we played in 2007. We need something different, exactly. the element of surprise, you know, to to take take on uh, the other nations. Now, you know, the Geo Aplons running a little bit when we expected to, to, to kick, maybe some loose forwards that play a bit differently. Hanuk Bissot has been out of the game for a while. Is Those kind of guys it, could be could have that sort of that factor we talk well, about. We need that instinctive play, that adventurous uh, players to come through, you know, in those pressure situations, you know. And that's that's one place where, where any player in the competition who wants to make a name for them, themselves has the time to do it. Okay, so we're going to New Zealand with one goal in mind as South African fans to win the World Cup. I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you think we can do that? Of course we can. There we go. <laughs> Quick answer. This is too easy. Okay, so Percy yeah, Montgomery says we're going to win the World Cup. I like it. I'm going to put my money with you. Thanks, Paul. I've been privileged to have played alongside Percy for a good part of my career, so watching him take on the game fish of Mozambique was yet another great experience. With his wealth of history in the game, having played against every world-class side of the modern era, he made a number of very valid observations.